Hello there commanders and welcome to a guide to how to win the battle of Lodi on the highest difficulty level. I'm going to show you a way to win this battle that even beginners should be able to execute without breaking a sweat. The battle of Lodi, 10th of May 1796. Although not a decisive meeting, this was where Napoleon first made a name for himself and got a glimpse of his destiny. The nickname the Little Corporal remained with him throughout his early campaigns against Austria. Turin laid my sights. The Piedmontese let my army pass. The Austrians under Beaulieu fell back on Milan. I pressed hard and caught them at Lodi. Sebotendorf can read the battlefield. He can see that I must send men over the only bridge across the river Po and take on his men on the east bank. But can he see what is coming next? Well, even if he sees it coming, it will be too late for him to react. I'm going to yolo me rush him so hard, he won't even know what happens. Well, he'll be dead. May 10th, 1796. After two days of forced marching, my army has caught the retreating Austrian army at Lodi. This is the time to strike. The Austrian rearguard is separated from the main army and vulnerable until it can reach the safety of the town. General Beaulieu is forced to stay on the battlefield to oversee the Austrian retreat. We must capture or kill the Austrian general and much of his force to end Austrian interests in northwest Italy. If Beaulieu is removed, the French can pen the Austrians in Lombardy into the fortress at Mantua. I must prevent Beaulieu from escaping the battlefield. Okay, so as always, I'm going to pause at the very beginning because, well, it's Napoleon. Positioning here is extremely um, important. And since it's not a legendary difficulty yet, it is introduced with Shogun 2. Um, then we can just take advantage of it. And here's a note for you all at the very beginning. If you are ever struggling with following what I do um, or recreating my moves at the speed at what I'm uh, that I'm doing it at, and you can always just press pause or just uh, even the slow motion button and go at half the speed. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about my deployment. I'm deploying my artillery right in front of that um, house that you can see there, and also in a way so that I can shoot into the city, so that it, uh, it will come in handy later. Uh, then I'm doing standard deployment of infantry on both sides. Actually, no. I need to fix it. Okay, so we're going to pause here obviously and abuse the fact that it is possible after our positioning in Napoleon is extremely important and first things first we are going to send the cavalry across the bridge where the enemy general is uh, essentially, well, he's not where he is but where he will be um, this is essentially what Napoleon told us to do we need to kill that guy and if we do not send our cavalry immediately across the bridge as quickly as possible at the very beginning of the battle he's going to run away now I'm going to deploy my artillery here um, across the road over here as you can see very close to that um, house so I can destroy it and then I can also shoot into the city and onto the hills as essentially a position uh, from which I can shoot everywhere then standard deployment of infantry on both sides of that artillery and then light artillery in um, spread out formation in front of line infantry. The spread out formation will not apply until I unpause, so there we go. Uh, now I can fix it. And if you ever 
that's a general uh, tip for all the guides in the future for games Napoleon and older I guess if you ever struggle to replicate my movements uh, my positioning etc etc at the speed that I want what I'm doing then you can always pause or go into half speed slow motion or whatever you want to call it and just <clears throat> try to replicate it that way uh, but after Napoleon, since Shogun, we will be forced to play at full speed. But I'm going to play all the time at full speed. At least I hope so, as long as I can do it. Anyway, there we go. He runs away over the bridge. Remember to put your uh, Chasseurs à Cheval on a melee mode, so that they charge when you tell them to attack a unit, instead of just stand in front of them and start shooting it, because by default they are... Uh, a ranged unit. Okay, so here I have a position from which I can shoot into the city, but only a portion of my unit can shoot, so I fix my position. There's my artillery, and I have deployed to destroy the house. It's a small house, as you can see already, two cannons, 16% uh, uh, damage, and you will need to click um, a few times to get through uh, the militia unit. The Landwehr is a uh, German militia essentially or Austrian in this case but, well, they're using the German language um, so either click through or just wait until the militia is killed you want to be really able to pull through as you can in some other games even in arena um, <clears throat> but the militia will not take long to kill and here I have two groups light infantry in front of um, Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think this cavalry is at the bottom of the screen? Perfect timing. Is he going to be caught? He is going to be killed. That's not a big problem. So yeah, uh, where I was at. Uh, two contingents of infantry, light infantry in front of um, line infantry, and they just have immense firepower as the line infantry is able to fire over the heads of the kneeling light infantry so you don't have to uh, really worry about any sort of uh, friendly fire. Although shooting here, I don't know, they're very very inaccurate, maybe the bullets are getting stuck in the ground or something, but you know, the killing is going really really slow and unfortunately my Chasseur Cheval route uh, maybe got a straight uh, stray cannonball to the face or to a horse whatever and that caused them to rout here I notice that again half of my unit um, only half of my unit shoots and the other doesn't so I fix my position so that most of them should and now that my artillery has finished his business over here there we go we killed our general that's a morale penalty for every single unit on the enemy team but it is the highest difficulty level, so it is not going to bother them that much, let's say. Anyway, you see a unit here, I think that's militia as well, which is going very, very slowly. So if I uh, use uh, one contingent of our light plus line infantry to finish them off, uh, another unit of line, uh, light infantry is shooting into the city as the units are retreating in there. And we essentially just abuse our firepower and our range advantage. So light infantry has 100 range compared to only 80 of light infantry. But if I want to maximize my firepower, I need to get my line infantry into the range as well. And here I am repositioning my artillery on top of the hill so that I can shoot into the city with it. And it is important to put them up on the hill because you can see this line of small buildings if you place them on the ground level on the city level um, then you're just going to hit those small buildings so we need to shoot from above in order to be able to shoot into the city and now that i have uh, captured the building another important thing to um, note is that you need to get out of the building for a brief second and then put your soldiers back inside the building so that um, they can take positions um, next to windows and start shooting from um, from inside otherwise they'll just 
um, stay in, uh, at the, like in the middle of the building and it won't be able to shoot. So that will be a waste potential, let's say. And now again, I'm stacking my infantry one top of another, you've seen this trick before. Um, at Waterloo as well and early in this battle. You can stack up to two infantry units, a line infantry units on top of one another without causing any friendly fire. If you were to stack up three, uh, then they will start friendly firing each other, but two is fine. Because the distance that will have of them, uh, between themselves is shorter than the distance or the length of the musket, I guess. So they just fire over each other's arms. Um, so that's very good. I see that one of my unit's morale is dropping slightly, so I use my Napoleon's or regroup ability to increase my morale. And, well, I really dislike fighting in a city because it's quite difficult to maximize your firepower because of all the narrow passages, narrow streets, and... <clears throat> and the buildings that get in the way. There we go, that's what I was looking for. And as you can see, even the cannonballs that I am shooting at some of the infantry units inside the city, they are bouncing off and going into the building, but my grenadiers are going to shortly lose in there as they're just being overwhelmed by the numbers. And here the trick I'm using, another trick, um, is that if a unit is under artillery fire, their morale drops. So essentially, what you want to do is, what you would do in melee total wars. In melee total wars, you want to flank a unit from all sides. You want to attack them with cavalry from behind, uh, or charge them and cause um, huge casualties over a short period of time, which is exactly what I'm doing here, with concentrated firepower. And then uh, another thing is artillery fire. Since flanking doesn't really exist on Napoleon, and or flanking is rather applied by the superior firepower and shooting with multiple units uh, into one unit, obviously you can still flank with cavalry, but as you can see, the only cavalry I have available is my Napoleon, which I'm going to utilize right now to flank this unit, as it is a separated one, isolated, so I can easily use my Napoleon without really uh, risking his life, because if Napoleon died, that would be very, very bad. And I'm shooting into the building, trying to destroy it, now it dropped below 50%, or rather, a portion of it dropped below 50%, because that building actually... Um, consists of three portions and each of them has its separate um, HP pool. So since I'm shooting from one side, I'm going to damage only the leftmost, as it's looking right now. Uh, the leftmost part down to 50% and as you can see the other uh, parts are different damage. And well, anyway. The Austrians got out of the building, so me destroying it doesn't really change anything. So I just should change to infantry. But anyway, they are coming out of the city, or are they not? They sort of are, so I'm just going to take positions outside of the city and try to fight them on the very edge of the city. I think that's the best idea. Also, two of my units uh, came back from routing, so I'm going to bring them back. I um, also need to pay attention to the ammunition of one of those units, the one with 50 soldiers is almost out of ammunition. So I'm going to fix my positions over here, so that when the Austrians get out of the city, they need to be in a tight square formation almost. Not the square square formation, but their formation is pretty much a square. Um, and I get to enjoy full firepower of being stretched. So another important thing to remember, um, if you are an experienced Empire player and just venturing now into Napoleon, uh, in Napoleon only the first rank shoots, while in Empire I think up to three ranks shoot. So, you know, the approach you can have to battles is slightly different. But as you can see, I made a very short work of one of these units with concentrated artillery uh, fire. Their morale dropped quickly and then as soon as they got into the range of my infantry, suffered casualties from two full volleys 
they just quickly uh, gave up. So now I'm targeting that unit inside the city right next to the building that is almost destroyed. And here, yeah, I have a pretty good position, but as you can see, I'm mostly, well, the enemy unit is mostly hidden behind um, little buildings, so I cannot really shoot through that effectively. So I'm going to fix my position and uh, so that I can use most of my firepower. But again, the city will not allow me to use all of it. There will always be a building that gets in your way somehow, especially in this particular map, as the streets are very, very narrow. I think those are Grenadiers. That's an elite unit, or let's say medium rank. It's not elite guard, but it's still more elite than regular line infantry. But German Fusiliers are just regular line infantry, so they break uh, much easier. And here, AI over, um, over there, not over the bridge, but over the passage, over the river. Um, they are extremely passive, and they don't realize that I have Will longer range, the and they just let me They're shoot them for free. So I'm going to take Northern it. Italy is mine. And I'm just waiting for my units and my artillery to deal with those Grenadiers, but... They're quite pesky. Also, I have run out of ammunition, so that doesn't help. That is something quite annoying, especially in uh, on highest difficulty level. It is going to get um, in your way quite often. Because the bonus to morale that the enemy gets are quite high. And if their morale is higher... <clears throat> sorry for my voice. Well, if their morale is higher, um, then you just simply takes longer to kill them, and if it takes longer to kill them, it takes more ammunition to kill them. So if you need to kill multiple units um, in succession, as you do in historical battles, or Napoleon's battles, as they are called in this game, then, well, it is going to take a while. And we still have two units over there across the bridge to take care of, and only one of my infantry units still has ammunition, so I'm trying to preserve it. I stopped shooting since my Napoleon is charging. I could use Inspire here, but uh, I think I'll be fine. All oh, these Grenadiers really, really don't want to route. Also important, I stopped my artillery fire before charging in here with Napoleon. Otherwise, I would really, really risk killing him. And there we go. Killing the Grenadiers luckily triggered um, army loss penalty. And those 3 to 4 remaining units that they had... Uh, the ones on the left. Yeah, thanks Napoleon for interrupting. Um, the ones on the left were almost dead, so... I, I could always use artillery, and if your army is not high enough on um, HP levels, then you can just use artillery, and artillery will secure a victory for you. Or you can also just learn my mistakes here. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.